Life wasn't easy. I was a freshly divorced duck. Not able to pay next month's rent. Not that I had paid for it this month yet. My brain felt foggy. And I was trying to remember... Where did all my money go? I had to retrace last night's steps. Be needing this badge anymore. I guess I can keep it as a souvenir. My new job as the duck detective isn't going any better, though. <sighs> well, if things keep going badly, I can always sell it online. No messages. This fresh smell. Oh, sweet spongy loaf. Oh, you keep me safe at night. I took that photo of her in a secluded tulip field. We spoke for hours under the stars that night. And now, she doesn't even answer my texts. I can't believe Anna actually filed the divorce papers. Second overdue notice. I wonder at what point they start kicking people out. I have everything I need to solve this now. Forget. Hannah! I'm a different duck now. I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. You have to believe me! You're speaking to the duck detective. Let's discuss this in person. Now, be there in an hour. I spent more than half of my remaining cash on the bus fare. And here I was, in front of Bear Bus Office, some sort of rundown call center. I better crack this case, or I won't even have enough money to make it back home. Sound unhappy. You bet I am! Their stupid buses always arrive late! I came back from a work trip to the west and arrived here at three in the morning! And they don't even want to give me a refund! How much did you pay? Um, two schmark. It's about the principal.
I could already tell based on her face that the receptionist was a tough one. She wouldn't make life easy for me, but I had to make my way into the office. I'm the duck detective. I'm here to investigate a case. Okay. Do you work here? Um, no. Then I can't let you in. But I've been hired by someone from their bus. Who hired you? Um, I didn't catch their name. Listen, buddy. You better get out of here, or I'll have to call security. There's always more to people than you might think. I should take a closer look and figure out what she's about. dry cleaning. Nobody wrote something more scandalous. I should be able to deduce her name now. Still here? Good observation, Sophie Windheimer. Get out. 
Aren't you impressed I deduced your name? I'm wearing a name tag, nitwit. Well, it doesn't say your first name, though. That part is creepy, but I'm choosing to ignore it. It's locked. Of course it is. This office is for employees only. You're still here? I'll leave you alone. why she's making such a face. I should try and cheer her up. You're still here? I'm just here to wish you a happy birthday. <gasps> How did you know? Just another one of Duck Detective's great deductions. Huh? Uh, anyway, that was really nice of you. No one else remembered, can you believe it? If you know my birthday, you must have a connection to someone here. Here's the keycard to the office. It says, server room. It's locked. Stained carpets and peeling wallpaper exuded a stench of stale coffee and abandoned dreams. I knew I couldn't stay long, or it would rub off on me. Oh, this is the last straw! Fredersen needs to be fired! I'll see what I can do. Who are you? Do you have a problem? If you have one, just call our damn hotline. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, the duck detective. A client hired me to investigate a case. <sighs> Why didn't you just say so? It's time we put an end to the awful lunch death. All we need to fire him is some evidence for the upper management. First, I had to find out who works here and what their jobs are. I needed to find my client as well. Inspecting the crime scene will be important too. But this is a demo. So you'll have to wait for the rest of the game to be made. Thanks for playing.